So this is just for those of you that are struggling with the chin rest to the legs. So I know particularly there's a leggy shepherd out there that is struggling with the position. So Dougal's just demonstrating a bit of an alternative for you. So it's a good idea to find a surface that is about the level of your dog's head. So this table is really good for him, but if you've got a leggy shepherd, maybe a bar stool if you've got one, or a table that's a little bit higher that's not your dining table, um, that could be a really good option. And we're basically just gonna do it exactly the same as we would for a normal chin rest. So I'm just gonna reset him here because he's holding it quite nicely. So I'm just gonna lure him over here. You're gonna start with that lure on the end of their noses. Approach them nice and square. <laughs> If they do that, just redirect them off. And then you're just gonna hold it here, yep. Wait for that pressure to go onto the table and then yip and reward. So let me just show you that again. Yep. So I waited there for him to actually stop moving around because he's getting a little bit twitchy. So I want him to be nice and calm with it. So let me just show you that again. Off, good. Chin. And you still want to be treating them nicely on that surface. So then your progression is exactly the same as we would do on the lap. So you're going to start asking for duration. So I'm going to get that lure out nicely. Again, just lure him to approach nice and straight. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Yep. So you can see he held that for a really nice time. And then we can do the exact same. So I'm just going to ask him to hold his head there and then just start doing little movements around. Yep. Yep. that was too far so again just dial it back yep good boy he's trying to go under the table what's this off good yep so you can see that progression is very very similar to the chin that we were doing on the lap for those of you that were asking if you're watching this as well hello um, but we may as well also talk about those cue introductions so this is a personal preference you can insert the cue whenever you really want the cue is chin it is not the same as the yip it will always come before the behavior because we are cueing the behavior and then the yip is used when the dog has performed the behavior so it's that mark word to say that's the behavior i wanted i normally tend to introduce it just after we worked on duration um, because then they have a better idea of what they're being asked to do and they're a bit more reliable with it. So, digs, hop up. So, with the lure, I would then bring it in, say chin, hold it for the five seconds, and then yip and reward. So, just to show you that more smoothly. Chin. Yip. So, there are other options for when you introduce the cue. Um, which I will talk through more generally in a theory lesson about cues. Um, and also we can start looking at differences in other ways we teach it. I forgot what I was going to say, but I'll come back to that later anyway. So hopefully that makes sense and I look forward to seeing more videos. See you later.